What's going on, Funko fans? Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another episode of... Much Pops. Much Pops. So I gotta tell you guys, I thought today was going to be a chill, relaxing day. I intended to snuggle up all nice and cute-like in my fuzzy bathrobe, put on a pot of coffee, and spend my time reading a bone-chilling ghost story. But that all changed when I woke up to find out that we had been called out, put on blast, straight up challenged by our pals Ill Bill and Sick Vic, better known as the Tills Pops. Woo! 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 So I took to Instagram to see what you guys thought we should do about this. And at the time of this recording, 69% of you, 69 dude, agreed that we had to accept this challenge and post up our results. So what exactly is the challenge? It's all about categories. Do you have a pop in your collection that fits each category? And with a combined collection size of over 450 Funko Pops, wow. you'd think it'd be a piece of delicious pumpkin pie to pick out the figures we needed and effortlessly blow through this challenge but it was actually surprisingly difficult. It took some time and a whole lot of sorting, but we were finally able to scavenge through our sea of pops and pick out a figure to satisfy each category. Now the boys showed off some sick pops in their video today, and if you haven't already checked out their video, there's going to be a link down below in the description box for you to check that out. But for now, it's our turn to show off what we got. So I got my five over here, she's got her five over there, and it is time for us to get started with today's challenge. Alright guys, before we get started with today's challenge, if you have not done so already, go ahead and tap that like button to help bring us some good fortune with the YouTube gods. And if you're new here today, make sure to click that subscribe button as well. I like to think we put out some pretty fun content and hopefully you guys will think so too. Anyways, no more stalling, it's time to demolish this challenge and show you guys everything that we were able to pick out from our collections. So let's break into the very first category and get this thing started. All right, you guys, so category number one is going to be human, and I'm gonna let Sam show off hers first, because actually, she has her collection at her house, and clearly I've got my collection right behind me. So we actually don't know what each other grabbed for this competition, so it's kinda gonna be fun between us to see what we actually ended up choosing. But like I said, I'm gonna let her go first, so let's see what she picked for the very first category. Okay, guys, so for my human, I decided to go with something that I thought was very, um, I'm gonna say legendary. <laughs> I guess it's not legendary. Anyhow, uh, for my human, I picked nonetheless, but Elvis Presley, the diamond edition. Oh wow, that's I, not what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, I have to. I mean, I love Elvis, so. And um, I, I was going between him and Rob Zombie because I love Rob Zombie as well as a director and a musician. But you know, Elvis just takes the cake for me in this one, so. I'm choosing Elvis as my human. This is a hard pop. <laughs> <laughs> a very hard pop. But yeah. actually, when you mentioned that the character that you chose was going to be legendary, this is who I thought you were going to be going with. Oh, I and it's very convenient know. that we have him right here, but this is going to be Barney Stinson from How I Met Your Mother. And you don't have this in your collection, it's just yeah, me, right? it's just you. Yeah, so I mean, I guess that wouldn't have made sense, but when you said legendary, I was like, oh, it's Barney, <laughs> that's a good one. But you didn't even choose it. No, I just meant legendary because it's Elvis back. Presley. There, there we go, got that. All right, so I guess it is time for me to break out my uh, person, and let's see right here. I have no idea who he picked. Yes, yeah, so this one is a very good one, and once I start to tell the story, she is gonna know who it is. But we were able to pick up this figure, I would say maybe a month or so ago, very limited edition, only limited to 5,000 pieces, and I took a couple of friends with me over to a place that is about an hour away from our house. We got there like three or four hours before the store opened, and we actually were able to sneak into the mall through some maintenance entrances, and we were up in there where we shouldn't even have been. But we had to make sure that we get this pop and we did we got it and here he is guys this is going to be the 5,000 piece limited edition hot topic exclusive Gerard way Funko pop 
So guys, I was so excited when I saw that they were making this because I am such a huge fan of My Chemical Romance. They are probably in my top two to three favorite bands of all time. And when I saw that they were releasing this, there was no way I was going to miss out on it. I did end up missing out on the Platinum Biggie Smalls that came out and I was pretty bummed about that, but it was okay. If I missed out on that one, it was fine. If I missed out on this one, I could not live with myself. <laughs> so I had to make sure that I got it. And as you can see guys, we got him right here for the collection. And now this is the very first time we are showing him off. And I think he was a great one to start with for this challenge. But now that we have shown off our first pops, I guess it's time to move on to category number two. All right, you guys, so for category number two, I guess I am going to take the number one spot this time. And I have got another special one that we are going to be bringing out. And this, is going to be a very heavy hitter. People were actively hunting for this one super hard in the stores, but thankfully I was able to get one from hottopic.com. Didn't have to go hunting at all. Very lucky and my first online chase, this one is going to be the Panda Pool Deadpool Hot Topic exclusive glow in the dark chase. Super cool one and I was so excited when I found out that this one came in the mail. And technically, I don't know if Panda Pool is considered an animal, but he's a panda yeah. and he's in a suit and you would never know. So I'm saying animal. And if you got a problem, you can fight me. <laughs> oh I'm gonna say this counts and this is my animal for the challenge. So what did you choose? You know, mine's not as cool as yours, but um, it, it's, it's still a decent animal. So uh, I actually pulled out one that you got me. Oh, yeah. what could this be? It's Meowth. Oh, Meowth. Yes, yeah. So Robbie got me this Pokemon. I, I'm obsessed with Meowth and Psyduck. And I always say Meowth, not Meowth. Now, <laughs> I, I never pronounced them correctly, guys. Come on, I'm fine, I'm sorry. Um, anyhow, yeah, so I pulled Mouth as my animal because I love cats. I work at a vet hospital, I love cats, and this one to me is my only other animal that I have other than Pokemon. So this one was most relatable to an animal because it's actual fictional too. Yeah, right? that's a good one. Yeah. Are Pokemon technically animals? I don't know, we both are a little questionable on this one. This is like an Egyptian cat. So it makes sense. I guess so. So Whatever. that's my animal. Yeah. So that's the animal for her, and it is now time for us to move on to category number three. So for category number three, I get to go first, and I did some research on this because I didn't really have a robot in my collection, so I, I kind of contemplated on doing this one because it's not really a robot, but it kind of is. So hear me out, okay. Okay? okay? I am going to, for my robot, be pulling out Iron Bob from Jay and Silent Bob's reboot. That says reboot, not robot. Okay, I know, I know, but it actually is kind of a robot. Is it a robot? Yeah, because it mimics the suit of Iron Man. Is Iron Man a robot? I don't, I don't the, know, the guys. I don't know robotic. about this one. Comment down below if you think this is sus, because I don't know if I trust this. <laughs> it is. The suit is robotic, guys. Mm. So if you look it up, <laughs> It, it does work. This is my robot and he's pretty awesome. So even look at him, he has like a cyborg eye on the back. So, I mean, it kind of works. It takes over his whole body like a robot. Mm -hmm. Look at that, look at that. I don't know. It works. This is my robot and I think that he's awesome. Okay, fine. Iron Bob the robot. Yeah. I guess we'll have what to go with have? it. Because just... <laughs> mine may or may not be equally as questionable as oh, hers, but see? you guys are going to have to determine for us. So, we're here so talking this all that baloney. is going to be another exclusive, one that I picked up pretty early on in my Funko collecting career, and I am actually really excited about this one. I've got both versions, but this is going to be the exclusive version. And without further ado, we've got him right here, oh, Cartman oh, as Osimo the Robot. So oh. even though he is made out of cardboard, and he is technically a real boy in this costume. He's pretending to be a robot. And you know what? If you can fool Butters into thinking that you're a robot, I think that we can fool you guys into thinking this is a real robot. That's a cheap so, call. <laughs> I think that it is good. And you can see right there on the back, there is him in his full awesome costume with the hat on as well. But here it is him unmasked because you know what? It's got to be hard to breathe in that costume. But anyways, though, guys, there we got it. Awesome the robot. And uh, I'm saying he's a true robot. I think mine was a robot. He was actually metal. Like a robot. I don't know. He's in cardboard. I guess Robbie. I guess while we still are in their good graces, let's move on to category <laughs> number four. Alright, you guys, so it is my turn to go first again for category number four, and this is going to be aliens. So I did not have very many aliens to choose from in my collection. 
I don't know why, just because I don't uh, really collect any alien type figures. You know, I did really want the Xenomorph from Alien, but I've never bought that one, and that would have been perfect for this situation, but I don't got it, so I had to improvise. But what we do have for you today is one that I have also never showed off, and one that I was very excited to get for a couple reasons. One, because it's a diamond collection, and two, because it supports pride, which is something that I am very passionate about, and I think you should support it too. But anyways, here we go guys, this is going to be the Diamond Box Lunch Exclusive Pride <laughs> Stitch. And actually, I didn't even think about Stitch in the beginning, but then I remembered he is an alien. Or an experiment, but I think he's an alien. Actually, he I comes, don't know. He comes from space. Yeah, he comes from space, yeah, right? He, yeah. He All right, comes down so, to the ship. Yeah, there we go. So we got the, the glam right there. There is the back of the box. And I do just think that the diamond effect came out excellent on this figure, so yeah. I was super stoked to see this one. I did buy it online and it took a while to get there, but he is now here in my hand and we have got him Mr. Alien Stitch Diamond Collection Box Lunch Exclusive. So what do you got? <laughs> <laughs> that was mine. <laughs> okay. So mine is a little bit more um, in depth with space. Okay. Found him at the Goodwill for five dollars. Do you oh, know what it is? Oh, I know what this <laughs> is. I was there. <laughs> I almost didn't even think that I had an alien in my collection. I was gonna have to borrow one from Robbie. Yeah. But, and this one was actually encased behind the glass yes, too, so yeah. they were taking some care of this yes, one. Yes. Yeah. And it was actually pretty mint. So for my alien, I picked the child. He is from space. He is an alien, so it works. I mean, I, yeah, I, I would say it works. Never actually seen any Star Wars movies, so I only really got him because he's cute. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a cheap call, but yeah, I was surprised. I don't think he's worth too much or anything, no. but I was actually surprised to see, you know, a pop in this good of condition yeah. actually at from the Goodwill. Goodwill. So, yeah, because uh, generally you do tend to see sometimes they have out of box so pops, everything. but uh, yeah, that was cool to find one actually in box. Yeah, and it. it met for the category yeah, so it, it did was, it was a good thing I <laughs> so got you were it. thinking in advance <laughs> i guess so that's what it was you <laughs> yeah. had the wisdom yep, I got wisdom it for you have <laughs> yes that's exactly what it was <laughs> yeah, even though it's not the same but whatever <laughs> it worked all right you guys so okay. we are on to the last category moving into it and it is going to be sam's turn to go first oh yeah okay so is it monster or um... it's monsters or mythical creatures okay i think mine kind of is bull Okay. So, I actually pulled out the Demigorgon oh. for, for my monster, but he's also kind of a mystical creature. Yeah, that you is. You think so, right? How long have yeah. you had this one in the collection? I actually just got it last week. Oh, last <laughs> so, week. Yeah. Brand spanking new. Mm -hmm. So, I'm wanting to collect everything from Stranger Things. I love the TV show, and um, so anyhow, this is the best thing for a monster. He's freaking scary. Could you imagine this thing coming for you? Like, really? That is pretty creepy. Yeah. I mean, all of those teeth. Yeah, I know. I feel like it's sort of like a Venus flytrap. It's going to open up and then eat your face off. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh you know what? He could actually go as an alien, too. Oh, yeah, I guess. I forgot about that. So well, see, I, you had some options. I doubled up. You did? So what do you have as your All last right. one? All right, last pop coming out. <laughs> yeah. And I definitely had a few to choose from with this category, but I ended up settling on a specific creature. And I chose monster rather than mythical creature. I was thinking about doing my fell beast dragon from Lord of the Rings and doing it as a mystical creature, oh, yeah. but I decided that I've already showed that one off, so this one would be a little bit cooler. I don't think I've ever shown it off on the channel before, but here we got it, guys. It is going to be the FYE exclusive Creeper from Jeepers Creepers. Yeah. Now, this guy scared the living crap out of me when I was young. I remember seeing, I believe it was Jeepers Creepers 2, where uh, it's the kids on the school bus. It's like the high school, and they get trapped out there in the wilderness or whatever it is. <laughs> Not somewhere. the wilderness, but like the the farmland. I don't know. But then Jeepers Creepers comes and attacks them, and it like cuts this guy's head off straight through the thing. And I was just like... <gasps> So, I mean, that terrified me, but now I think I'm a little bit old enough to realize that he's probably not going to come and get me when I'm going out on my field trips or anything like that, so I think I should be okay, but he's definitely a scary looking guy, and uh, perfect for today's competition. Alright, you guys, so there you have it. We just showed off each of our five figures for the five species Funko Pop <laughs> challenge, so I think that we were able to rise to the occasion and prove that our collections can withstand any challenge that is thrown at it because we were able to pick out five characters to show off for each category and we did it no problem at all. So now that we showed off our five figures, I think it is time for us to challenge some other YouTubers to do the same. So we are going to call out Amissa Yu Funko, the Iron Panda Bear, and also Pops and Props. So if you guys are willing and able 
and think you can complete this challenge, we are calling you out and we want to see what you guys can come up with. And we are going to have links down in the description box below so you can check out all of their channels and see all the great content they make. And after you do that, go ahead and make sure you give that like button a sexy little spin. And don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> we do try to put out a few videos whenever we get around to it. And we do try to make them as fun and entertaining for you guys as possible. So, if you guys enjoyed watching us go through these five figures for the Funko Species Challenge and you think that we did a pretty decent job, I really hope to see you guys again soon on the next one. Good job. No. It wasn't recording this whole f time. You're kidding me. Robbie. I'm just getting it recorded. Oh, no. Ha! Got him! Ha! Got him! Ha!